chasing TikTok, Meta rolls out new Reels feature and expands Instagram Reels to 90 seconds. So there's a lot of new updates happening with uh, Facebook's Creator Studio and Business Suite to integrate with Instagram Reels. So what I've noticed is that Facebook is really doubling down on both Reels and creator-led content. Previously, they were more focused on working with publishers and news and having the Facebook news feed be your source to get news, things that are happening now. Mm-hmm. But Trying I think they Twitter. realized... Yeah, I guess Twitter has always been about real-time news, but yeah, they're actually very focused. You're right. They are very focused on the publishers um, side of things. Even when you look at like uh, Twitter Blue, it's very focused on um, um, a, a news feed for news, right? Yeah. But I think that what Facebook has come to realize is that there's a lot of negativity on Facebook. It's not enjoyable to be on neg- uh, to be on Facebook anymore. I think a lot of people feel that way. Um, I don't enjoy it. I don't. I don't really even get addicted to the news feed like I used to. Um, I deleted Facebook off my phone uh, around the start of COVID because I was like, this is just, I was constantly on there. Like, what's happening? Are mm-hmm. we going to die? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I was constantly going on it. Then I deleted Facebook completely just so I wouldn't look at it. And then I didn't get it back for almost two years until I downloaded it back. But now I find I don't have the tendency to want to scroll my Facebook newsfeed. It's just a pile of garbage, <laughs> right? A lot of complaining, a lot of BS, yeah. right? I find myself on Instagram. But even there, I don't scroll that much because I've been noticing they're putting in a lot more content from people who I don't even follow. Mm. They're promoting other profiles. I don't know even how to do how to get your profile featured like that. It's probably a good thing. Um, the ads don't bother me as much. It's whenever I'm scrolling and I'm seeing content from another person's profile who I don't even follow. I'm like, why would you put this here? Like, anyways. So they are doubling down on Reels. So I've seen a lot of reports from other digital marketers who are saying that all they do is upload Reels and Reels get more engagement and more attraction than anything. I will verify this is true. I uploaded our first Reels on our web-friendly account last week. And that video did better than any other video I've, I've published on the page since we started publishing. It had, I think usually we were averaging like 30 to 50 views, which is not a lot, it's a new page, right? I uploaded the Reel and had over 400. But this is a right. story that repeats itself, right? If you go back, right. there was obviously Facebook and then Snapchat comes out and sort of pioneers this idea of, of stories, you know, video content that disappears. And then of course, Mark is the captain of copying. So he went and put stories inside Instagram. And when that happened, of course, they encouraged more use of stories. So if you started sharing stories early days, you got more traffic there than to the timeline. And I feel like this is the same thing. So Reels is chasing TikTok. They want to encourage the use of it. So they're going to get those Reels to be more algorithmically distributed on their platform, Instagram and Facebook. And eventually it'll die down once, you know, it's no longer the latest thing. But I think really the the thing to really think about here is how Facebook doesn't innovate. I, I can't think of a tool that they created as a first you know, uh, innovation on Instagram or on Facebook lately, maybe the last five, 10 years. They, yeah, they invented, the, they invented the newsfeed. And how long ago was that? <laughs> I mean, that was, yeah, 2006. Yeah. So, well, maybe not that so, long ago. But yeah, long time ago. But since then, it's been Snapchat, I think it actually TikTok, was. TikTok, Instagram. You know, they're, they're the ones who, who really innovate. And rightly so, Facebook has That's been right. going backwards, right? So what I find crazy, I had to look it up after you shared this story for today. I was like, I know TikTok, what those are. And I know YouTube has shorts, which is kind of like their attempt to get on, get in, get in mm-hmm. on this short video content game. Right. But then I was like, Facebook, they already have stories and they added reels. And I was like, I have to actually Google what's the difference between a story and a reel as per what Facebook's telling us the difference is, right? And right. so a story is meant to be chronicling your life. You know, it appears as you're doing something then it disappears where a reel is more right. like you're dancing to music. Or what does that sound like? You know, it's TikTok. So, well, well, yeah, I mean, no, I think cause the, the format of it being, um, nine by 16 versus 16 by nine. Yeah, right. Yeah. You're on YouTube. You're watching a video that's, you know, 16 by nine White right? screen. movie style. Yeah. yeah. When you do a vertical video, you know, then you're going to uh, nine by 16. So in terms of the format, you could upload a reel as a story and it will just work that way. Yeah. Right. And the reel but goes to the timeline caveat. as well, right? On, on Instagram and Facebook. No, 
The real does. Yeah. yeah, the real does, right? So they're creating a new tab or they already created a new tab on Instagram for reels. It's kind of like when they started with IGTV. Yeah, what happened? Which to that? now allows you it's still there. It allows you up to 20 minutes um, videos. So what happens is if you upload a video on your Instagram timeline, if it's one minute, it'll just stay on the feed just like that. As soon as you go over one minute, once someone watches past the one minute mark, it'll say watch more. That becomes IGTV. Mm-hmm. And on your profile, you have a tab now that says the IGT. well, it's the IGTV icon that will show all of your IGTVs, which are basically what it means is videos over one minute. Long form right? content. If it's under one minute, it's just on your regular feed. But now, if you upload a reel, they have now increased the length of the reel to 90 seconds. Now, what's kind of funny, interesting, and both also dumb about this is when you upload a story, okay, um, you can only upload a video up to one minute long, and it will chop it up into 15-second little chunks, mm-hmm. which means you cannot upload a 90-second video you would have to upload a 60 second video and then chop out the other 30 seconds and upload that separately right it's a very extremely stupid process but i guess because like like yeah TikTok and they don't want people 10 minute long videos now right so that like everyone's just like let's make this yeah. longer and i i gotta give credit to youtube because they stuck to their this is youtube we do long form you know for the main videos and and that's it except for now shorts of course but you know yeah, that's the thing is that they're doing the shorts thing too because the thing with TikTok is that the amount of traction they're getting, they're growing faster than what fa- how Facebook grew. So they're like a real comp- – they're the first real competitor to being like the next social network, right? Like Instagram wasn't as big as how big TikTok is when they got bought out, yeah. right? And TikTok is also gaining traction on YouTube itself. They're, right now, YouTube has no main competitor. When TikTok starts doing um, horizontal videos – Long form. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be a killer to YouTube. Yeah, right? well, we'll see because, because a lot of people don't like the censorship. Yeah, but it's a different form of engagement too. Like you have to think about with YouTube, it's Google's video search engine, and a lot of what gets shown, like the reason why YouTube gets discovered, is people will go there looking to find a piece of content. I can't imagine, at least it would have to be a change in behavior to go to TikTok and search for an answer to a problem, like a long form video, like how do I fix my bathtub? That's not going to be on TikTok. It's, it's, you know, it's an they, entertainment They're probably going to be focused. Yeah, they're going to be focused on entertainment. So yeah. they just created a show. I saw this as I was kind of looking at stuff. They published their first show with one of their TikTok creators. I don't know what kind of show it is. I just noticed that they were produced like a show. You mean like- I don't know if it's- if it's TikTok funded- and, and fully produced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like a, like yeah, a YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know whether or not it's 16 by 9 or 9 by 16. I don't know. I didn't look into it that much. I was just, just as you're talking now, I just remember that I, I remember hearing about that. So I think that there are going to, remember there was that other co- company called, um, I forget what it was called. They were they were focused on um, mobile content. They spent like oh, a yeah. billion dollars. Um, and they, they died in so a year. Q. Uh, and now Roku owns all their content. Um, yeah. It started with a Q, right? Yeah, Quibi. Quibi, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like doing that on TikTok. I can see TikTok being a source for entertaining, entertainment videos, um, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Facebook tried to do that with Facebook Watch, and they've kind of killed it off. They don't put a lot of effort into their products, I find, Facebook, you know. Anyways, just to to round off this, um, this story here, just some new features coming to Reels. You'll be able to add polls, quizzes and emoji stickers just like you could do on stories there's going to be an, an option to create a template which i don't know what what that looks like but there's a some sort of a quick create template feature you can now do 90 seconds instead of just 60 seconds you can import audio from your camera roll into your videos which i'm curious how that's going to work um, and then the big thing is you could schedule reels on desktop. So when you're using Creator Studio currently, there's no features for reels at all. You can't upload reels. You can't schedule reels. You can't do anything with reels inside of Creator Studio. And also, just for anyone who's you know got this far into this video and wants to know about this, when I was trying to figure out how to schedule stories on, on, uh, on Facebook and Instagram, I found this really funny. If you try to upload a one-minute story through creator studio it'll only upload 15 seconds at a time Mm -hmm. it won't take one minute and chop it up into four videos four 15 second chunks 
Okay, so that means you would have to manually edit your one minute or whatever into 15 second chunks. It's super annoying. Okay, so then you go over to business suite, same thing, doesn't work. But then if you get the business suite app, okay, is the only way that you can upload a one minute video that will automatically create 15 second chunks. So if you want to schedule stories, you have to use only the business suite app. You can't use the creator studio app. You have to use the business suite app. It is so stupid how, how like there's so many problems with creator studio and business suite and all that kind of stuff. So I'll be curious to see, is it going to be scheduling reels in creator studio or is it going to be inside of business suite? What the fuck? Mm. I don't know. Okay. It's a, I, I, I love the fact that these tools all start out really simple. And then they turn into like fully fledged editing video tools, right? And then it gets so complicated that it's, I mean, you can still use it's it. So, it's such a mess. Yeah, it is a mess. It is so, like the fact they have Business Suite and Creator Studio and they have similar features, but there's certain things you could do on one and you can't do in the other. It's like, it is such a mess. Like they need to just have one thing and, and just make it easier for people. Um, a few other quick things that I noticed as I was browsing around that now you can have longer usernames on Instagram. It has gone from 30 characters to 64 characters. That's been rolling out to users. Soon you're going to be able to upload 9 by 16 images. Currently you can't do 9 by 16. It's, um, it's another metric of long photo. And then there's going to be a trending tab in Reels coming. So those are some of the other features coming into uh, Reels. So uh, Facebook doubling down on creator-led content over uh, news and publishers and that sort of thing. That's kind of what's interesting about the story. 